around, man. Suitcase this, my cell phone, I'm a charger, don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you ass, you gon' lose airlift. What's up, y'all? You already know, man. K for all TV. Y'all go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see it first. Alright. So for the most part, you know, um, on my little live stream I put out yesterday, I told y'all I would be doing a video today. So I decided to put one together that I actually had on my list a long time ago. But um, what I felt like speaking on is I felt like speaking on, you know, how you get rid of cockroaches when you're in prison. Now, for those who've been to prison, know nine times out of ten places you go is infested with bugs. Those that ain't been to prison, now you're going to learn how seriously you have cockroaches when you are in prison. So, let's start from the beginning. Now, in prison, well at least down here in Florida, I can speak for Florida. Only private institutions like South Bay, Moorhaven, and stuff like that have AC. Those are AC facilities. Every other camp, I mean there's a couple other ones that have AC, but... All the camps that are not private camps in Florida, there is no air conditioning. You do not have AC. The only place you have air conditioning is when you go to medical or in classification or inside the VP, which is the visitation part where you get viso at, places like that. But as far as in your dorm, the chow hall, you know, whether it's open bay or two-man cells, all that, there is no AC, okay? Now, in my county jail, there's AC down here in Broward County. So my whole time sitting in the county jail, every time I went to the county jail, I never seen no cockroaches. Soon as I got to prison, it just threw me how many bugs there actually was. Now, people know you get a locker, whether you're in an open bay or you're inside of a two-man cell. When I did the tour through the abandoned prison, I actually showed what a locker looked like. Them lockers right there get so infested with cockroaches that there's only a handful of little ways you can get rid of them. Now, there is other ways, but the one way that I found to get rid of these bugs, I'm going to break it down to y'all in the little end of the uh, video. The one way that I found to get rid of them Actually, I learned in confinement because in confinement at Charlotte CI, they were infested with German roaches, like so many different German roaches. Like soon as the lights go out, and I've said this before in videos, soon as the lights go out, where the light is, you got the light on this side of the room and you got your, your, your bunk bed on this side of the room. Soon as the lights go out, the bugs come out of the light, start crawling down the wall. You could see them in the dark, literally moving down the wall. On this side where your bunk is, they come out of the bunk from the bottom of it and start climbing up the wall. So they go this way by the bunk, this way from the light. As soon as the lights go out. It is so nasty and inhumane in confinement at Charlotte CI. Now, it's um, when I was in Calhoun, we had cockroaches also inside the dorms. What they normally do is they'll have a guy come around like the bug man. He'll come around with the little... The little pump thing with the little wand and he'll spray different lockers and stuff like that but they rarely do that that's the thing they rarely do that okay and when they you know when they do do it it it, it, it it's rid of the problem you know for the most part for a little while you know not that long but it, they don't stay on top of it so they constantly come back they constantly come back all right now, I'm going to tell you how we used to get rid of them when I was in confinement. And then when I got out of confinement and I started getting them in my locker, like you'll lift your locker and they'll just scatter everywhere. You know, you can grab your, your mail and, and they're all in your mail, like different, you know, like they'll be in your property to where if you go to confinement and it's one of them camps that they don't give you your property, they put it in property. Your actual, your, your property actually gets sent to the property room. They don't allow it in confinement, okay, that's that's how it's supposed to be, but not every camp's like that, like when I was at Charlotte, they, they sent all your property with you to the box, so you're in the box with all your stuff, you know, but them cockroaches are so severe that it could be to where they send your property to the property room, 
By the time you get out of confinement, when you go to pick your property up and you dump it out and you go through it, there'll be a bunch of dead bugs in there. All right. Now, what we used in confinement to get rid of the cockroaches, right, was just one thing because you're, you're, you're only entitled to, you know, to have your hands on a couple things. And it was this, a chip bag. A chip bag is the best thing to use to get rid of cockroaches, all right? As you see, this is a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos. Bag of Bones, flaming Hots. These are the ones that are shaped like different things, okay? Now, it ain't got to particularly be flaming Hots. It actually has to be any bag that is silver in the inside like this. You see the silverness? When it's shiny like that. Any bag like this is what we used in confinement. Now, when you, we were in confinement, we were only allowed to order four food, out, four food items, five non-food items. The only two bags of chips they had on the canteen that was like that is the big bag of, of regular yellow lace, which the bag was probably like this bag, this big. So that's considered big because all the other bags were small. And then Doritos. All right. But and those are silver in the inside. But they have a lot of other chips on the compound that it isn't silver like that in the inside, you know. But me being in confinement, I had food anyways. I had actual canteen from the compound being sent to me by people and stuff like that. So I didn't have no issues. But let's say you didn't have the canteen being sent to you. The bags they did sell on the canteen for confinement were silver like this. All right. And um, what you do is if you have a bug problem in a room, all you do is you get a couple chip bags, you know, you could, you could, if you only have one, you could only use one. If you have two, even better, three, better, four, the best, because there's four corners to a room. All you do is you get your chip bag when you're done eating all your chips or whatever it may be. You literally just open the bag up and you stand it in the corner of your room behind your bunk against the wall. Stand it in the corner of the room. By your sink, near the door, stand it in the corner of your room. Okay? The smell alone is going to attract the bugs. Now, you can use the same bag a couple times. It was to the point to where, you know, you could leave a cup, you could leave a chip or two crushed up in the bottom. That'll be even better. But if you don't, it don't really matter. I actually, they were, I was in the box during a, a hurricane and when that happened, they fed us peanut butter sandwiches and carrot coins for like three, four days. We had no lights, no nothing. We was just out there in the middle of the, in the middle of the big ass hurricane that hit. And they gave us carrot coins, which was like cut up carrots, raw carrots. I would throw a piece of my mouth and chomp it all up and then spit it in the bottom of a bag and stand it up in the corner. When you do this, you are going to wake up in the morning and this bag however many bags you have is going to have about 25, 30 bugs in it. And they cannot climb back up the silver part. They can't climb back up that. They can climb down it. They, they go in there, but they cannot get back up. Any other chip bag, they're going to climb up it. But, for, but it is too slippery and greasy for them to climb up the silver ones. Now, it usually takes two days in a row to clear all the bugs out of the room in confinement. We literally would put the bags up. Next day we'd wake up, each bag would have like 25, 30 bugs in it. You know, and you'll hear them hissing. You'll hear them making noises and stuff. They're like screaming to get out. Noises you never even heard a cockroach make. You'll hear it. You'll know they're in there. You'll be laying in your bunk and you'll hear the bag and you'll hear like gibberish noises, weird shit down there. You know, and then once you grab the, once you get them, all we did is, is hold the, the button to flush the toilet and pour them in there. And like tip the whole bag upside down and shake it. And they all fell down and went down the drain. We did that two times and then it gets rid of them for about a good week. That cleared them out for like a week. But you know, because we don't have the chemical agent spray like everyone else had, like on the compound. When the dudes come around and spray, of course they're going to come back. There's no way for us to get rid of the nest. But this is how you get rid of them on your own. When the officers ain't doing their job. 
by having the dude come spray. Same thing when you're on the compound. When I got out of the box, everybody would pop their locker. They run around and everything. You know, you have your food in there. You know, any of your canteen, anything is all in one locker. You're not allowed to have just things laying around. It's all got to be in that locker. And that locker is infested. When you lift them lockers, they be all up on the edge of the, of the, the lid, all in the creases. All the, They run all in the sides. You see whiskers and shit. Like it's real. There are whiskers and shit hanging out the edges. So it's really, really infested inside of Florida State Prison when it comes to cockroaches. You do the same thing. You get a chip bag and you just leave it standing upwards. Close your lid at night. Wake up the next morning, you're going to have a bunch of them in there. They're going to all get in there. I don't know if they all go in there because they're that damn greedy and all want to jump on the same food. And they don't want to let the other ones who are down there trapped eat in it. Or if they want to go down there to help the person who's screaming for them. Or if they feel like, ha, 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 you got caught down there. This is how you do it. And they go in there too and try to do it and get caught with them. No matter, I don't know what it is, but it literally attracts all of them. They literally go inside the chip bag on their own and they're stuck. And then when you pop your lid, you're going to grab it and you're going to, like, I shit you not. Like, if you tilted it sideways like this, it'd be like this, like that much right there. Just filled with a bunch of cockroaches all on top of each other. Like, this shit literally fills up and gets rid of cockroaches. You know? In prison, it's 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 it should be cleaner in there when, for inmates. Is how I feel. You know, they should be on top of that shit. You know, stuff like that. But they don't. They only come and spray when there's been so many complaints to where inmates will go past the officer, past the sergeant, and mention it to a white shirt. They'll mention it to a lieutenant or a captain. Man, we got so many bugs down here, and they don't want it to get to the even higher power. You see what I'm saying? Or if someone from Tallahassee, which is the head of classification, they stay in Tallahassee. They be coming down and they go from camp to camp and do inspection. If the warden's coming to the compound, because he's never on the compound, the warden. If he's coming to the compound or the head of classification's coming from Tallahassee and they're doing inspection, you best believe the officers are going to get on their shit and they're going to go, go around and have the, uh, they're going to call the bug man, which is a company guy. He's going to come on to the compound. They're going to let him on the compound. He's going to go around and spray for bugs because they know them officers are going to be checking people's lockers and shit like that. You see, they only do it when they feel like they can get in trouble. But that's only like, you know what I'm saying? That's like literally like eight times a year. So imagine how much time that inmates actually live with cockroaches. You know, I understand there's no AC you know, that's probably part of the punishment or whatnot. Or, you know, they don't want to pay the big-ass AC bill. But one thing that should be done is I feel like they should be spraying more. They should be on top of that shit. Just like, you know, they have inmates, you know, weekly, I mean daily cleaning the dorm. They should have it to where the bug man comes, you know, twice a month and sprays. They should be on top of that shit, but they're not. They literally make it to where the inmates have to live with it. And it took me, it took me like my fourth or fifth box bid to learn about the bag. Literally. I like, so it's not like, oh, I just, uh, everyone's doing it because everyone's not doing it. I'm telling y'all how I did it. And every time I'd show my bunkies it when I was in confinement or I'd get out the box and I'd show someone, it like blew their mind. You know, I'm not the first person to ever do it. Don't take it like that. But I know for a fact I showed plenty of people that this is how I did it in confinement and it works. So this right here is a little prison remedy that does work. You know, I'm not expecting people on the streets to have cockroaches. I mean, some people do, some people don't. But what I'm saying is you could give it a try if you wanted to. You know, um, if, if you ever end up in a situation where you do have cockroaches, just think of the chip bag. Just like that. All right. And like I said, I've been wanting to make videos about things no one else has spoke on. When um, I'm pretty sure 85% of people who also have channels went through the whole bug situation. So I'm, I'm surprised no one spoke on it yet. You know, maybe they didn't know about the chip bag, but they, they sure as hell know about the cockroaches coming out, you know. But um, another thing I want to tell y'all before I end this. Them cockroaches are so bad inside of Department of Corrections that picture a German cockroach. For those that don't know what the German cockroach is, it's the little small ones. 
The small ones, they're harder to get rid of than the big palmetto ones that fly around and shit. You know, in the hood, growing up, everybody had big-ass palmetto bugs. You're walking, like, grocery stores, restaurants, all that shit. When I worked at Taco Bell when I was younger, they had German cockroaches that would come out. We'd be making people's food, and the cockroaches would come out. you see someone running around trying to catch them so the customer don't see it. You know, like, that's how it was, you feel me? But I shit you not, I was in confinement at Charlotte C.I., I didn't have a bunkie at this time. I was by myself. Them German roaches was so damn bad that I got on the door and I was like, and I was yelling at one of my homeboys a couple cells down. You know, I, I don't never ask for no handout or no shit like that. I'm not going to be like, bro, let me get, and you know, everybody's asking you for shit. I literally hit my homeboy up a couple cells down. I was like, hey, Bill, let me get that, em let me get an empty chip bag. I seen him on the door eating a bag of chips. I hadn't got all my shit sent back there to me or nothing. I had literally just got put in this cell like the night before. And uh, he's like, what? I said, I need that chip bag for something. Just the empty chip bag, bitch. I, ain't, I don't want no chips. He shot me the bag. I put the bag, boom, in the corner. You know, went to sleep. Because they crawl on you and shit. So you, you want to get rid of them. It ain't like you could just live without with them. I mean, sometimes you have to. You know, you. But, but then it makes you feel like you always feel something on you, you know. So I woke up the next morning. I grabbed the chip bag. I heard him in there look, making this little screaming, hissing noise. When I grabbed that chip bag, right? And I, and I looked in it, there was like 35 to 40 bugs on top of herself, right? But bullshit you not, there was like 10 white German roaches. I've never seen no white ones in my life. There was white ones, pure white, pure white cockroaches. Not, not, not light, like gray or light brown. I'm talking about pure ass white German roaches roaches i've never seen anything like that in my life ever and i seen them and i'm like what the fuck like it, it just it just threw me like i was looking at them for a while before i flushed the whole bag like i could not believe i've never seen those i guess it was an albino german cockroach but to me i'm like what the fuck now it made me like boy i gotta get them about it i don't know what kind of bug that is i know it's a roach but i don't it was a pure white german cockroach there was fucking like 10 of them in the bag and it, and, it, and, it, and it just threw me, you know? But um, anyways, for the most part, this is the little prison remedy. So if you ever find yourself in a cell with bugs, knock on wood. I'm saying that because I know a lot of people that are incarcerated or a lot of people that, you know, are in the middle of fighting charges and stuff like that do watch my channel because I get messages every day. So knock on wood, though. But the chip bag... Because you know the officers ain't going to get that man down there to spray. But all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all tuning in, watching this little video. You already know, man. Keep them haters at your circle. Tell them to suck it on soft. We play chess, not checkers. And until uh, next time, it's your boy, Frog.